guys, what's up? I am in Peoria, Arizona today. I'm actually at Rio Vista Park right now. This is one of the best parks that you can find in Peoria, but I'm going to be talking to you guys about what it's like living in Peoria, what you can find here, cost of living here in Peoria. But before we get into it, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. Click that little notification bell so you can get a notification every single time I upload a new video. Let's go. And on top of that, you guys, I am an Arizona licensed realtor here in the state of Arizona. So if you're looking to move here, vacation here, if you're wanting to figure out what living is like here in Arizona, go ahead and give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am here and available to help serve and support you at the highest possible level. Let's go. So I had to take my jacket off because it's a little warm out today. We're at the end of November and it's still like 89 degrees outside. But Peoria is actually a very, very large city here in the Phoenix metro area. So Peoria is actually in two counties here in Arizona. It's in Maricopa County, which is most of Phoenix Metro Valley. And then it's also in Yavapai County, which is a little bit more up north. So, so if you can see here on the map, Peoria goes from, you know, it's right in between Glendale and Surprise. And it goes up past the 101, past the 303 a little bit, where there's there is actually a lake in Peoria where Lake Pleasant is. Lake Pleasant here in Peoria is actually one of the two largest lakes here in the state of Arizona besides Roosevelt Lake which is up north. But you also have Lake Mead which is a little bit larger but that's also in Nevada and Arizona so we're just going to cut that map. <laughs> Peoria's population is over 170,000 people and it's a little over 178 square miles large. So it's a very very huge city here in Arizona and now there's a lot to offer. Peoria offers a lot. Peoria is the fourth largest city here in the state of Arizona which is pretty insane. You also get two major freeways here in Peoria as well. You get the 101 and then you get the 303 North. So the 101 and the 303 actually go straight through Peoria. The 303 is way 303 is a little bit more north when it connects to the I-17 and the 101 actually connects to the I-17 as well. So they're both loose. They loop all the way around. The 303 is actually going to have an extension going through Goodyear in the next couple years. So it's going to be <laughs> a lot more growth coming soon and Peoria is growing a lot. So Peoria was actually just ranked one of the top luxury neighborhoods to live in here in the state of Arizona on top of Scottsdale so it's pretty pretty unique so they're comparing Peoria to Scottsdale all the time now so one of the many things to do here in Peoria is one you can come to the park here at Roosevelt right so you have Roosevelt Park here you also have baseball fields that are right behind me you have a playground a huge playground that is actually under renovation right now you also have a bike trails and walking trails all along the Aquafria River right here you have the 101 that actually goes right over here and then you also have a uh, you have a gym here you have Rio Vista recreational center you also have a skate park you have sand volleyball courts and you have lakes you have little ponds here in the Rio Vista park as well where you can go fishing it's wonderful and you can keep the fish too so it's not catch and release you also have a veterans memorial here as well that is brand new they just built it over the last year a couple years or so and it's spectacular you guys Rio Vista has so much to offer for the family for the kids if you are retired there's a lot to offer you here as well as far as trails and just a very very outdoorsy experience experience here at the park. On top of that, you guys, we have a lot of mountain trails here in Peoria as well. So we have West Wing Mountain Preserve that gives you a ton of hiking trails and magnificent 360 views of the city. We also have Pioneer Park, which is south of Peoria, and it's huge, huge. You have a dog park there. It's actually off 83rd and Olive, which is actually where I grew up, over there in the Pinecrest community. And you have condos popping up there. You have apartments, you have gas stations. Pioneer Park is one of the best parks here in Peoria on top of Revisto. They're both very, very large, a lot to do. They have a lake there. They have a huge dog park. They have a ton of baseball fields like this that you see behind me. And they also have, um, I already said a lake, but you can go fishing there as well and it's walkable it's in very very close vicinity of your homes and also the Peoria police station is right down the street so you're in a very very safe neighborhood over there as well one of the best things about Peoria is kind of similar to Glendale is you get everything you're right next to Glendale so you have the Westgate Entertainment District there as well so it's very very close it's about a 10 minute drive if you're in South Peoria and then on top of that you guys you also get P83 which is right off of 83rd Avenue Bell Bell Road is one of the most <laughs> busiest streets 
Hills here in the West Valley um, and for good reason because it has a lot of restaurants, entertainment districts, it has Arrowhead Mall there, it has a ton of bars, it has movie theaters, it has literally anything that you can think of, Bell Road has on it. It has a ton of car dealerships too. So if you're looking for a car, Bell Road is a place to go off of Bell Road on the 101. Um, so it has a lot. So that's one reason why Bell Road is one of the busiest because they have put everything on Bell Road at the very beginning, you know, I would say Peoria and Glendale because um, Bell Road actually runs through a ton. It actually goes through because Arizona is on a grid system here in Arizona. It goes from one end of the valley to the other. Because we're on a grid system here in Arizona, it actually goes through one end of the valley to the other from like I would say Surprise all the way to Scottsdale. So it's a very, very large road um, and it's, it's, it's booming. So as far as P83 goes, there's a lot to do there. You get a lot of restaurants, you get a lot of bars, you get a lot of ex events and experiences. Now, another thing that you can do here in Peoria is you, is you can attend spring training games at P83. So at the Peoria Sports Complex, which is literally right off of 83rd Ave and Bell Road, you get to experience a ton of events, a ton of parades. So they do fireworks on the 4th of July, a huge event. I go there every year. It is amazing, spectacular. They, they have live concerts, live bands out there. And then you also get the spring training events. So it's a 145 acres facility of just baseball. It's insane. So you have the San Diego Padres and the Seattle Mariners. They both share this complex. And then in Goodyear, you also have another spring training facility. And then in downtown Phoenix, you have another one. There's so many areas to experience the spring training here in Arizona. It's bizarre. Some of the best neighborhoods in Arizona are here in Peoria. You have Vistancia. Vistancia is spectacular. It's here in North Peoria, one of the best communities here and I keep saying that in every video but I may just maybe biased because I live here but anyways the Stancia is wonderful it's top of the notch luxury new homes definitely growing no HOA and you get a lot for your money out there you also have Zuni Hills Elementary which is one of the top schools in Peoria it's insane and on top of that you also have Lake Pleasant which is right down the road so if you're looking outdoorsy outgoing lifestyle this is where you want to be North Peoria, hands down. You also get Happy Valley, which isn't as close to Lake Pleasant as the Stancia is, but it is in a very, very close vicinity. You can just hop on the 303 and get right over there. Happy Valley is the original North Peoria, and then the Stancia just kind of grew over the last couple years. You can hop on Lake Pleasant Parkway and get to that area right away. It's insane. And then over here on Lake Pleasant, you guys, you can go boating, you can go fishing, you can go kayaking, you can go wakeboarding. But here at Lake Pleasant, you also have the world's largest slide where you can slide down and jump into the water. You also have an obstacle course here. You have one of those like water jet things that you can go up and really uh, feel like you're on like a jet powered engine or something and it's really cool. You can do that there at Lake Pleasant as well. And there's so many more. You can eat dinner on the lake at Dillon's at Lake Pleasant Harbor. And you also have Lake Pleasant Marina where you can store your boats if you are looking to buy a boat or if you have a boat and you're not sure where you're gonna store it here in the Arizona desert. Lake Pleasant is a great place to go. So if you guys have questions about Peoria, you can always give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am here and available to help serve and support you at the highest possible level. So as far as schools, there's actually two school districts in Peoria. We have the Peoria Unified School District and then we also have the Deer Valley Unified School District. Peoria Unified School District is top notch. You're going to get a lot of A-plus accelerated schools out there as well. And on top of that, you guys, the housing is impeccable. The housing out here in Peoria is very, very much affordable and there's a lot of homes being built every single day. If you're wanting this lifestyle, definitely comment below. Let me know. Give me a call. But the cost of living out here, so the home prices right now in Peoria are averaging about $545,000 and there is still a lot of options out here. So if you're wanting to be underneath that price point, we can definitely try to find you something. Now, that's just, like I said, that's the average. But if you go underneath that, you're probably going to have to put a little bit of elbow grease in there. Now, there's definitely a lot of homes available above that price point. It's just a matter of, you know, what part of Peoria you're wanting to live in. If you want to live in North Peoria, you're definitely looking at that price point or maybe even a little bit above. But if you guys have questions, like I said before, you can always give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am here and available to help serve and support you at the highest possible level. <laughs> did I say that right? Score, I did, okay.